Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to make a global key listener in Java. And uh, the first step is to create a new project. This is just going to log all of our keystrokes emitted from a keyboard. And I'm going to call this uh, native key listener. And include, oh, it's just the project name. Now I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to put that in a package called main, just because I always call everything main if it has the main method in it, so just a habit. Get that stub. And uh, we have to actually add JNA to our build path. JNA is just a little library that allows us to use some native features like uh, key listeners that can listen for keystrokes in an arbitrary frame. They don't actually need to be requested focus on a J panel like a normal Java key listener. So we can just create a uh, new file, call it lib or libs, and paste that jar into the uh, libs folder and press Alt Enter and then uh, we'll be able to add this to the build path. So add jars, libs, native jhook, apply, OK. Now that that's added, we should be able to implement the uh, native uh, native key listener right there. And it imported. So we can just add those unimplemented methods. Got full screen again. So now uh, the first step is pretty simple. There's this static class that holds a bunch of static things called global screen. And it, it we're going to have to call this method called register native hook before we can actually add the listener. We have to register it for some probably a really good reason. No idea why. Global screen dot uh, get instant. So it's the singleton looks like. And then we're going to add our native key listener. And uh, this takes in an instance of uh, native key listener, which ours is main, so we're going to call new, I mean invoke, create new main. There we go, so that will uh, make a new one of these mains. And so these methods will, these methods will able to be called every time a uh, key stroke is pressed or released. So we can print out some text. I like to rename this to E. Um, global screen dot um, is it in global? No, no, it's not. Native key event can convert key code into text, so that's just kind of nice to see. We can get the key code, pass that in as a parameter, and uh, Let's have a string here so you can see when you press it and when you release it. Pressed, and then we can have released right here. Released. Okay, so now we, these two things should be called every time uh, a keyboard stroke is pressed. So now if we press run, um, we can make a comment and hopefully we can, yeah, I pressed enter just now. Uh, there's some strokes and we can type in hello and look at that pops up so and that we can make any file we can make a new text file up here call it txt file and uh, we can type into here and see that in the console it is logging everything and you don't you, you, you don't have to print System out the print line if you don't want to. You can uh, use some sort of datagram packet and send it off to a server if you're having this on another computer. You can just write this to a file. Uh, I'm sure you could do other things. Lots of things you could do with it. Useful too. And uh, that's this tutorial. So thank you and bye.